Entertainment and entertainers are the bomb. Uh, it's the experience, it's the wow, it's the special in event. That's what entertainment is. And uh, whether it be an activity or whether it be a big entertainer or a small entertainer, really it, it certainly, um, it's more than the icing on the cake because one can eat pound cake with no icing. However, people do not talk about what their food experience was at an event unless it's quite a gourmet experience. They remember the entertainment that was brought to them and how it affected them and uh, it gives them food for thought. There is a very big difference and it's, uh, it's a process. The process, for example, that an agent like myself, a producer agent, will go through is a corporate process of proposal, recommendations that are based on solid understanding of the objective of your event and where the entertainment may or may not fit in, and a selection of entertainment. Uh, so if you go directly to any kind of an entertainer, they have a lot of investment in ensuring that their act is the one that you select. Coming through an agent, uh, a manager, producer, we're there to help you to strategize what would be appropriate for this event and perhaps even help you understand why that might be a terrific entertainment at another occasion that you have. And this one that we are recommending might work for that. If a person is contracted entertainment uh, alone, they, they need to uh, have an eye to what that person needs from them in order to give a best performance. And that, that needs to be stated up front, where they fit in the program, is an, is an introduction appropriate, who's giving the introduction, how should it be, uh, how will the person enter, how will the person exit. Uh, what's, as, uh, what's gone on before they get on stage. So these are all things that a meeting planner can help the entertainer understand where they fit in the program. So before it's slotted in, there's perhaps some possibility the entertainer could say to them, you know, if you placed me just before the lunch break, that would be perfect because people could leave and they'll be talking about it all through lunch. Simple things like that, they, the understanding uh, for the artist that the artist is going to assume they're the star of the day and uh, we do need them to understand the star of the day is the the corporate VIP, the salesperson, the company president. So the more information they have about the overall objective that's wonderful and I would also say if the artist can come to the venue uh, you know there's often a walkthrough and a pre-con meeting people perhaps don't think of bringing the artist in because that could incur a cost, um, but to have them there and really get an idea of the scope of the project and where they fit in, that would help the meeting planner a lot. Well, I, I do understand the allure of being able to, uh, you know, Google the right harpist and book that person and you know, have the experience and have them at your event. So I would like to say that if it's your first time, it's, it's even more advisable to contact an agent at that point in a producer and really make sure you have the right choice for the, to the profile of your group. But that said, people want to have an experience and, and many times do know a little bit about what they're doing. So uh, one thing I think to get clear with them right up front is that the report to place, there's many a time when uh, an event planner, a meeting planner are under a lot of stress and a lot of duress and it's like where are they? So an actual point of meeting, not just Toronto Congress Centre, you know, or even Leonard Cohen Hall, so a point of uh, meeting, um, an agreed upon time of meeting, recognizing that could be off a little bit. Um, make sure that there's, if there is an introduction, 
who's going to do that so you have that sort of information um, and I guess when the entertainer is uh, going to go on stage they need to have a cue you know, 15 minutes 20 minutes what have you something like that so that would be really important it's important that the entertainers pre performance state of mind is honored sometimes that involves having eaten before sometimes that it does not involve it involves eating afterwards but to have a beverage a secure place for their belongings someone to give them a 20 minute cue not a two minute cue and then my recommendation would be for that event planner or meeting planner to either be at the stage or at the sound booth when that person goes on and have a predetermined visual cue that would alert them to anything that needs to be changed within the first 10 seconds or 30 seconds. My mic is not on, I can't see the audience, the light's too loud. So there needs to be sort of a predetermined visual sign and a real willingness to be right there with that artist in the first 30 seconds of their performance.